a little bit, but it's your boy, Sneaker Man here, and it's Halloween month. So, as you know, me and I have to put out some, you know, content related to Halloween. But the difference here is that you may have noticed I have not used, um, the shape um, you know, pretty much my specials intro when it comes to holidays, like, you know, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all that. I have not used it because basically it felt redundant to basically, you know, do a third dungeon. I did them last year when I went the game the game channel. I'm hoping I can somewhat get around that point, but that is yet to be determined. But anyway, lots have happened in the last two weeks. After I basically posted my video on why, you know, the process of basically making a blog video just like this one, um, I found out that um well, apart from having to basically work on this video, I have realized the fact that the pay that Patreon has changed its logo and like a third time and it's not good. It's literally it's splatting ink over the over white sheet of paper and call it a day. Another thing to point out was that one week after I posted my um last blog post video, I found out that uh Need for Speed Unbound underwent a de well pretty much desynced, meaning that people started losing their progress, started losing their cars, disappearing, cars that are in that are in their um, you know, garages, but for some reason there are various parts that have been you know, meaning settings were pretty much reset it, even parts and even liveries have started parts. I checked mine and I too have suffered the same fate. But most notably, all of my vehicles except the Porsche Taycan was a f all the vehicles like let me put it you like this. All of my cars that currently have my garage were not affected by this desync. It was the fact that it was because the Porsche Taycan was the latest vehicle added to Need for Speed Unbound, it ended up getting affected. The only thing I've noticed was that uh, not all my livery counts were added, only the paint job stayed, but the livery wrap itself was gone. But another thing to point in that was the fact is that my wheels, most notably the tires, brake calipers, and the brake disc are gone too. Like, you have to rebuy them. Like, okay, no, 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 no. I said to myself, I didn't spend all that time. Because if you saw in my last video, I put gameplay of that same port of my same custom Porsche Taycan um, in a in a link up event and obviously when we I come back and my car looks like its tires got stolen. So apparently this was um as was explained by many DSP players and mostly in the computer that this was definitely a desynced issue that needed to be fixed. And what's worse was the fact that at that same time that this started occurring uh, Need for Speed Unbounds, um, on the PlayStation Store, Microsoft Store, EA, um, Steam, and all that. Let's just say that it turns out that they may have slipped in a screenshot of the, uh, of the next new vehicle to come in, and to no surprise, it's actually a BMW. Most notably, like, we already have the BMW M2, um, competition in the game, but we're getting its next-gen version, the M2 G87. Which is the 2023 model, in, which is where it is near now. So, yeah, it's strange. And the fact that, um, because of the fact that this was slipped in, you can actually find it on the stores if you go check the places and stores of the game. It was strange, and the fact is that it most likely the next, um, rank 50 reward for the Speed Pass will be a custom made, uh, Buick GNX. Okay. But we don't know what else to come for. But this may or may not be considered the last, you know, content-related update skins. As of this desync is definitely coming an issue. This has affected all players, and those who were lucky, you got lucky. But for me, I unfortunately, well, I sort of got lucky. Like only my Porsche Titan got affected by the desync, but everything because of the current speed patch, and it felt as though it needed to end. So, I have lots of plans now that the M2 G87 is going to make its debut, so I may have to throw in a possible showcase video. This means that I may have to jump back on the gaming channel to give it its gameplay videos. But I want to show off the car, because if I return to the gaming channel, it will most likely be at a different time? Like... I'll, I'll have to look into it, but like I said, that's all you have to determine, but without further ado, I'm hoping to finally get something Hollywood related out this month for um, all you guys that have been watching these my videos these past months, and I'm hoping that I'll eventually, eventually uh, get things back up and running, because my last video, my tone was completely different, I was kind of like void of energy, but thankfully, things are starting to clear up, and I'm ready to get back ready to, you know, see what I can do 
Anyway, I will see you all in the next one. Take care now.